Baby, let me tell you something. Oh, baby, let me tell you something. Baby, let me tell you something. You are my queen, me are your king. Big finch of love, baby. Big finch of love. Big finch of love, baby. Big finch of love. If you heart, if you heart, someone feel it. Hey guys, you're back with Liv. You're back with Liv. We're Liv. We're, we're, we're Liv. Uh, 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 uh. You're back with me. And today I'm just doing a very simple everyday foundation routine. I don't wear foundation every day, but I thought, I was like, hey, why don't I just record an easy foundation routine? This is just one pump of foundation. I don't use a lot of foundation. I don't wear it all the time, so I wouldn't need to use a lot. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the video and we'll get it right into it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Add me on Snapchat, add me on Instagram, chat to me, DM me, email me, do whatever you please. You are free to contact me. But I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> hey guys. I'm currently like trying to start waving right now. I mean, it's looking okay right now. Um, but yeah, I want them to get better. But this is just what I'm dealing with right now. UK female wave up on the way. Trying. But you know, it is what it is. Um, today I'm going to do, uh, like I said before, a simple everyday foundation routine. Uh, yeah, just something simple, something light, something, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's what we're going to go for today. And the sun's shining, it's beautiful outside, so why not? So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to take... First of all, actually, first of all, I'm just going to take my wipes, the charcoal wipes and Primark, same ones that I have before. I don't really change the, the people that I use for my wipes, just can't bother. If it works, why change it? So I'm just going to use that to wipe around my face. And yes, those are Valentine's Day decorations, so like still everywhere. I've got like stuff on the ceiling and stuff over there. But it's okay. The love's still in the room, so... Why not <laughs> just keep it there i'm gonna go in my with my rose water ignore that it's in the mario badescu um bottle i don't i didn't like it the mario badescu just because um i just didn't feel like it was real like i just felt like i was putting generic stuff on my face and like i just didn't like that i was just like nah it's not me it's not me at all by the way, that's just my palette that's just there. If you're wondering what's in the corner. I'm taking my witch hazel. I'm just gonna go over my face. I always do a small skin routine before I put makeup on. Uh, just so that my skin's healthy underneath. I just can't be bothered to do all the dry skin. And nah, nobody needs it, nobody wants it. So nobody should have it. Yeah. And I dyed my hair again, as you can tell. It's like a gingery, auburn kind of colour. I was going for auburn, like an auburny, burgundy, not burgundy, because I was burgundy before. Um, I didn't actually video that. I meant to, but I forgot, and I just didn't make a video while my hair was burgundy. But right now, it's this brown ginger kind of color i don't really know what it is because it changes every day because i got i'm using the adore i use the adore cinnamon and the adore cajun spice and this is what i got so i mean i'm not mad at it because i kind of like it but i think i'm gonna dye it again this the ginger blonde that i dyed it previously on my youtube channel i'm taking my neutrogena hydro boost gel cream this one and i'm just gonna put this in like where i have my pro my problem areas for drying out and 
doing the most and seeking attention. I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> Looks funny. I'm just going to write it in. Yes, I still have these ugly ass fucking nails, but I spent £40 on them. I'm not even trying to like get rid of them, honestly. I really want to though. As soon as it, I feel like I've got my £40 worth, which would be a month. And then I'm like, okay, then look, I can spend another however so money on new nails. I just don't like them. Like, everyone keeps on complimenting me on them. I'm like, can you see? Like, they are the most ugliest shits that's ever been on nails. Like, what the fuck? I look ill. Like, why is the pink that's meant to be a nude so bright? Like, why do I look sick? <laughs> Oh gosh, and then I'm gonna take my astral and do the same thing. I'll put it on my humble areas. If you have combination skin, astral is the best cream for you. Um, because it's just best for combination skin. It's not too uh it's not drying, it's not it's not too drying and it's not too moisturising, it's just right. Because sometimes uh, cream's over-moisturise and then you're left with, like, um, a lot of grease and stuff like that all over your face. And you don't want it, like, you just don't. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to take my Ico London Brow Liner in the shade Medium. So, I'm just going to take this... Oh, my hands all greasy now. Uh, I feel like this um brow liner is like very good for like subtle, um, subtle looks. Cause I don't like my look, my eyebrows to be too vibrant because um of like the color, the hair colors that I I usually have and go for. I haven't even been brushing as as um frequent as I had I used to, which is bad though. Like it really is bad. But I mean, I've just been busy. Life's busy at the moment. Like Valentine's Day happened, and like stuff like that. It was the most beautiful time. Like me and my boyfriend had so much fun. He's so sweet. Like honestly, like we went to Prezzo. We're both really picky with food. We're both, like, super picky um, with food. And, like, we're like, oh, we don't want to have this because of this. We don't want to have that because of that. But we like a lot of the same things. So when we go out to eat, it's not really an issue where it's like, oh, I don't know what to eat because we usually like to go about the same places. So um, we went Prezzo. I've never been there before. He's never been there before. And that's, like, a big deal because we don't usually go to places that we haven't been before unless we, like, had super trust in it. Um, but he was like, oh, I'm going to go out on a whim um, for you. So that was nice. Like, it was a nice whim. Like, I enjoyed myself so much. I had a porn star martini for the first time ever. And let me tell you, ugh, oh, I'm in love. I'm sold. Like, honestly, I crave it so much now. This is so bad. Like, it's the best cocktail I've ever had in my life like ever it's just so nice i go in lightly with this because um like i said i don't like bold eyebrows when i have uh, different colors in my hair because i just feel like i look so weird i don't know i just feel like i look weird like but yeah but valentine's name was just beautiful like he got me so um a new teddy uh, which is lovely because I love my teddies and then he got me like rosé because that's like my favorite wine and things like that and like he spread the room with like rose petals and stuff like that you know what was so funny that me and my mom was laughing about is that we both somehow decorated the room so before he came to pick me up at, at my place I decorated this room I decorated the room and so that it was a surprise when he came to pick me up 
and then he saw that and then afterwards because he was planning on decorating the room himself as well so after we came out on our day he was like oh, i'll go into the kitchen for a little bit and blah, blah, blah. so i came in back in and like he read like decorated it over like my decorations i didn't mind because i put the love and i put the, the hearts on the ceiling and stuff like that and the mr and mrs which is in the little thingies there but he put like roses everywhere and all of this stuff and I was just like oh babe like it was just so sweet like we both took so much care into it I got him this jar um of like the reasons why I love him and like date ideas and things like that in like a jar and it's like folded up hearts oh uh, it was just I, I got that idea from Pinterest shout out to Pinterest fucking with me the ideas because I didn't want to give him a present I feel like Valentine's Day is like the most awkward gift-giving holidays because it's not Christmas, it's not your birthday. You can't just get something that... You can't buy something for someone that they've always wanted or they've wanted for, like, a long time. Um, well, I mean, you could, but it depends on the sentimental value of it. Like, say clothes and stuff like that. Like, I don't feel like it has much significance on Valentine's Day, like whoop do doo you got clothes, like, you can get me clothes any other day of the of the year. It has to be something significant and something, like, you know, that will seriously, like, make them think, oh, like, you took some time and care for th about this, like, you really thought about it sort of thing. So, yeah, that's, that's why I found really hard about, like, this gift. But then I found this and I was like, that would be perfect, like, I can do that. Yeah, but that's what we did for Valentine's Day. It was really nice, like... Oh, my bad. I'm going around with my, um, pro... My pro concealer, LA Girl, um, in the Shane Fawn. Now I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm going with the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. And I'm just going to put that... Here, here. Just a little bit on the nose. And then I'm just going to take this Primark foundation brush because I noticed that when I use my foundation brush that I use on the daily, uh, not on the day because I don't wear foundation every day, but when I do use foundation and I use the foundation brush to blend in my primer, it makes my brush go funny. Like, I have no idea how to explain it to you, but it goes funny. Like, it just doesn't know how to act. So, I can't, I just don't use it anymore for the, like, to apply my primer. Or maybe it's the formula of the primer, you know? Because it just doesn't make sense. Like, what, like, you take foundation, so why wouldn't you take primer? Like, like what's wrong with you? Now we're going to go in with my foundation. And I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation in the shade Nut Brown. I feel like I'm getting lighter like and I feel that like that's a problem because it's but now we're coming to summer and I'm only taking one pump it's getting to summer or whatever the, the UK is deciding that this is um global woman slash whatever disaster end of the world type shit but like I feel like I'm getting lighter and it's really bugging me out because I bought this foundation and now it's like suddenly not matching me well it is matching me that's the thing like it matches me perfectly but like can you see what i mean it's like just a little bit darker than me all of a sudden like all of a sudden it was never like it was never this light for me all of a sudden it has become so so i don't know well i'll go for it i'm gonna take my uh pro concealer in the shade medium beige and just put it on my eyelids so i'm just blending that in i'm gonna go in with my revolution palette the reloaded neutrals number two and i'm just gonna take uh this shade they should really name their shades to be honest but this shade here and this shade here i'm just gonna put that all over my lid um yeah, and just blend it out. I'm just going to take this rose gold sort of colour here and I'm just going to put that in my tear duct just a little bit to brighten up my eyes. I'm going to put my lashes on off camera so I'll be back when I put my lashes on. My lashes on now. We're going to go in with our four pro concealer again. And I'm just going to put 
a little under my eye. Just gonna be blending in the concealer. As this is light, we're just gonna um, lightly put powder on. Cool. I do it for the thrill, for the rush. Now I'm going on my True Match uh, L'Oreal Paris Super Blendable Powder in the shade 9. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, baby. Cause I'll be standing on the side praying for you. I, It's a good song. It's a really good song. Ghost DV Wonder. We need to just do a little bit of a highlight. Do a small little highlight. Just uh to give you a little bit of a glow. And I'm gonna be using and my trusty um Manakada Diamond Dust in the shade Enchanted. I'm just gonna roll it on the brush a bit because I don't really like how it blends when I don't put when I put it directly on my face. I just it still works, but it's just not exactly how I want it to work. So I'm just gonna blend a little bit of that. See, I barely put any of it on, and it's like I put barely like even a little like a little dab of it and it's like already doing the most like look at that highlight no I'll put a little bit more because the other side's a bit shinier ooh look at it look at that ooh just a little bit on the nose a little bit on the what the bridge? Yeah. I forgot what it was called for a second. I was like, wait. Cool, that sun. You know what I've never, ever, ever, ever done? I've never highlighted underneath my brows. I don't know why. I just haven't. Like, maybe I should. Just for the fun. Do I even know what I'm doing? No, but we're doing it anyway. Just That's just how life is. I say that a lot, you know, I noticed that. Like, I say that a lot, I'm like, oh, that's just how life is. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, I just say it a lot. I'm going to take my Revolution Pro Brush Palette. Um, it doesn't have a shade, it's just bronze and baked. It just looks like this. I don't think they sell it anymore. It's a bit like the, um, what's that brand now? What's that brand? Sleek. It's like the Sleek one. Because you know how the Sleek one's got, like... The sleek one has, like, just one side or whatever. This is, like, it combined. I don't think they sell this anymore. I don't like it. I barely even touched it, but I don't think I like it. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? 
I don't think it even looks nice. Like, why do people do this? It looks nice with other people, but I just don't think it suits me. Even though it's like a highlight, but. It doesn't even make a difference. Why did I bother? Stupid. Stupid. I'm gonna go in with the rose gold shade and put more of it in my crease. Not my crease, my T-Duct. I feel like this, I used to wear this every single day. Every day, the, the rose gold one. It's just beautiful, like, are you crazy? Like, can you see how it's just popping over here? Like, are you dumb? Are you actually dumb? Like, look at it, look at it, look at it. Like, look at it. It makes me look bright, awake, even when I'm tired as shit. But it makes me look awake. It makes it look bright. Now, look. Look how the sun. I should do a little montage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 